Hey guys, the Repentance DLC just had its second birthday and I have the perfect mod to showcase for the occasion, the new birth cake trinket. The cake has a different and unique effect for every single character in the game, just like the birthright item. It even has different sprites for each of them. This video is part 1 of my showcase of all the unique effects, starting with the 17 regular characters, while part 2 will cover the 17 tainted variants. Let's go! Starting with Isaac himself, his cake effect is called Better Rolls. Each time you reroll an item, there's a 25% chance for it to cycle back and forth with the original item. This basically means you can revert the reroll if the outcome was bad or you would have preferred the original item. However, it is just a chance, you can't bank on it. You could certainly try to use your D6 a bit more risky while holding Isaac's cake, but to be honest, I feel like the 25% chance isn't enough to work around it on purpose. Maggie's cake effect is called healing power and comes with two benefits at once. The first one simply increases the chance for spawned hearts to be double red hearts. It may not look like much here, but you must know that the regular chance for a double red heart is just 1 out of 50. Right here I spawned 50 random hearts and got 3 double red hearts. The second effect of the trinket is much more noticeable though. It will cause your yum heart to grant half a soul heart every time you use it, which makes it worth keeping around. Next up is the king of gambling, Kane. His cake effect sleight of hand supports this title by granting him plus one luck while holding the trinket. But that is not all. It also grants him a chance of 33% to get his coins back whenever he plays any slot machine. You can basically just treat this as an increased chance of him winning. The cake also works when playing the crane game, but the chance of getting your money back there is reduced to 25% to balance it in regard to the higher play cost. Judas' birth cake effect is called Sinner's Guard and is really powerful. The first ability simply grants him a passive 20% damage multiplier with no downside. On top of that, the cake will also grant Judas a black heart whenever he spends all of his red heart containers on devil deals, even allowing you to prevent a death. And since we already have the Judas' shadow item right here, it is also worth to mention that Dark Judas has the same birth cake effect as regular Judas, which will push his damage even further. Next up is the blue baby. I would certainly not eat his cake. Its effect is called loose bowels. It will cause your active item to spawn poops whenever you use it. The amount of poops depends on the required charge of your active item. The number will always be charges minus one. So the bigger the item, the more shit you will create. But this formula means that active items that require one or even no charges will not spawn any poops. That would be broken as it would allow for infinite pickup farming. On top of the poop spawning effect itself, the cake will also grant a 10% chance for each poop to spawn as a corny poop, which will spawn some blue flies for you to collect. Eve's cake effect is called Pain for Pleasure and is probably the biggest quality of life upgrade in the entire mod. It causes your red hearts to deplete before your soul hearts when you take damage. This allows you to easily trigger Eve's transformation whenever you want and without the need to remove your soul hearts or to keep the razor blade for the full run. And to add to this, red heart damage will not affect your devil and angel room chance at all, as long as you have some form of soul or black health on top of it. Samson's cake effect will probably seem a bit boring compared to some others, but it will help him a lot. Healing Rage drops two red hearts whenever his rage is maxed. Keep in mind that Lusty Blood resets on each floor. This means the trinket will grant you two free red hearts on each floor, which makes it way easier to stack the rage again. Azazel's cake effect is probably one of the more exciting ones. It is called Alternative Attack and will allow him to shoot regular tears if you hold your brimstone charge. His regular tiers will only deal 50% of his damage for balance reasons, but besides that they work just as you would expect, while making use of all of your collected items. The next one is, at least in my opinion, more on the weaker side of effects. Lazarus's cake effect, come down with me, deals 40 damage to all enemies in the room when he dies. 
Lazarus got reworked in Repentance and can now die and respawn once on each floor. This basically means his K can be seen as a free death card on each floor. Eden's cake effect is simple yet powerful, at least for a trinket. Mystery flavor will just mimic the effect of a random passive item while you are holding the cake. The item will always be the same, even if you drop the trinket down and pick it back up. But being able to do that can create some niche benefits depending on the item you got from it. This simple effect is already quite strong, but it gets better. The copied item is guaranteed to be of quality 4, if Eden's starting passive item was a quality 0 one. The Lost Spurf Cake effect is called Regained Power and is utilizing his starting item, the Eternal D6. The trinket will grant your dice two free uses on each floor. But don't worry, you are not forced to use the Eternal D6. Switching to any other active item will still grant you at least one free activation that refills on every new floor. And in case you are wondering, Yes, it doesn't matter how many charges the item requires. You will even get a free use of something insane like Mega Blast on each floor. Lilith's cake is called Remember to Share and comes with two effects at once. The first one grants a 25% chance for each shot of your familiars to copy your status effect. The second effect of your cake is a bit more complicated but really interesting. It grants a 10% chance to consume the cake and spawn a random demon familiar on each new floor. However, this is not the end. As soon as the cake is eaten, all future trinket spawns have a 25% chance to be replaced by a new cake, restarting the cycle. The keeper's cake effect is another simple one, but it will generate a lot of value throughout the run. Spare change will drop a nickel whenever you enter a shop for the first time. The cake will also spawn a nickel the first time you enter each devil room or black market. All three room types combined will make you multiple items worth of money in your run. As you can see, the nickel will always spawn directly in front of the door. Keep that in mind when playing with the trinket. Maybe you need it for an emergency heal. Snack time is the name of Napoleon's cake effect and it basically turns your void item into a better smelter by allowing you to consume all trinkets on the ground. You will not get any random stats like you would get from voiding passive items. You will actually get the real effect of the trinkets as long as you keep the void item in your active slot. The Forgotten's Cake effect, Harmony of Body and Soul, is probably my favorite in the entire mod. Each time you hit an enemy with the bone, a small wisp orbital will be created. The orbital will not deal any damage, neither will it block projectiles. However, switching to the soul form will grant it a short damage boost and turn the wisps into purgatory ghosts. The size and duration of the damage boost depends on the amount of ghosts created when you switch forms. You can have a maximum amount of 8 orbitals at once. Two more to go. Bethany's cake effect is called Virtuous Guidance and it simply grants a 10% chance to spawn a single basic wisp each time you clear a hostile room. And last but certainly not least in this case, Jacob and Esau's cake effect, stronger than you, will grant the holder of the trinket 25% of all stats of the other brother, an insane boost. The cake will look at the total stats of the brother, not just the gains from his other items. This fact makes it already really powerful even with just base stats. This trinket effect alone may justify you giving all the stat granting items to one character just to have it grant a way bigger total stat boost to his brother. There we have it. That was all birth cake effects for the regular characters. I will also cover them for all 17 tainted characters soon, so stay tuned for that too. Also, if you enjoyed this showcase, then please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps way more than you think. Either way, I hope to see you again in part 2 of the video. Bye! He's the number one Isaac! God's favorite son His flowing rose Reach down from heaven